This is like, uh, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Oh, jeez. Did you see that? Hey everyone, are you looking for a budget studio light that is super functional, somewhat big, that can give you great results? In this video, we check out that light. Hey everyone, this is Gil again with Doom Life, and today we're going to be checking out a studio light that I purchased on Lazada here in the Philippines. I will link down below if anything comparable in Amazon. I'm gonna be tackling this one right here. In here is a light, uh, an aperture studio light that I can use for my videos, obviously, but it should give us, uh, instead of having the two lights for me, just the two lights, just one big light, a honeycomb style light, and should be great for just the light that I, the light source that I want, and the, I guess the scene that I want to create in in our videos. And hopefully this will give you some value if you are looking for a light just like this. And I'll show you the features, I'll show you the light, the setup, what's in everything. I'm gonna switch over to over at the table. I'm gonna open it up, and from there, put it together, turn it on. Right now, I'm, I am using my my little studio light here. It's right off to the here, and that's all, that's all I'm using right now. This one should be a lot more a lot more powerful. This will generally be used in the podcasting space, the studio. Instead of the two lights that I have for my guests, I wanna just have one and it should be good enough, right? So, yeah, let's get to it. Let's go over to the table and let's go. So what do we get in the box here, right? So let's just open it up ever so, okay. So it's a bit crushed. Hopefully it's not, <laughs> this is proof as well. We have the S-Video light right here. I'll take everything out. Here's some specs if you guys are into it. Looking into the specs here. This is the hood of it right here. Oh, this is the, I guess this is the, the, the honeycomb hood. This should be the stand right here. Yes, this is the stand. Now the stand is basic hood on here. Oh, there's a whole entire thing here. Okay, it comes with what you get in here. You get some diffusers, I guess. Oh, okay. Got some diffusers if it's not, uh, if you still want it to be diffused a little bit, depending on the light right there. So let's throw that at us. And a, I guess a bigger diffuser. This is what I have to stick on there to have that honeycomb. Look, I could be wrong on calling it honeycomb. I just call it honeycomb. And uh, this is the actual, can I call this an umbrella? And you have the Velcro right here to attach everything. Uh, Stabil, I mean, Quality wise, I, I think it's fine. It's uh, it obviously it is plastic. I think it does what it needs to do. Only time can tell, as I always say. Uh, I do see that one of these things looks like it's coming off here, but uh, we'll see. I could be wrong. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, so this one is actually has some type of protection, right? It's actually in a bag, has protection. Okay, I do like that. Comes with a remote. Don't know if I need battery here. Comes with a remote right there. This is your light right here. I don't know if you can see that, 3200, 5600. And this is basically your light source right here. Let's put it all together. Seems sturdy enough. This is, this is hard, everything's hard plastic. I'm going to set it all up for you guys and put it on the stand. Try to get some video of that right there and then set it up for you. But I do have to tell you that I might have to return this because one of the like legs is, is broken. So, but unless I can fix it, but then again, because uh, it's a big headache sometimes, especially if it's coming from overseas. It's a big headache sometimes, so let me see what I can do and try to fix it, but let's put it together and we'll see what we come up with and you guys can let me know what you guys think. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put it on the uh, on the stand first here. Try to lock it in here first so I can start mounting the other stuff. Definitely, this was like less than $200. Um, I'm sure I'm gonna have to take this off. So there's a clip right here. You just gotta push, pull it down and then twist and then go right there. This same thing has tabs on here because if you want that really like uh, diffuse look, if you want a straight like light, you can use this. But for now, we're gonna put it on here. And the same thing, look down, down, and we're, we're gonna twist. So that should be locked in right there. Well, let's do this first. I wanna break it. Let's take that off. 
this you kind of you got to be careful with it so these things have little hooks right here so i'm going to just i'm going to try my best uh because one of the legs is, is is done i don't even think i can return it because um i probably lapsed it because i've had this for a few days i've just been busy uh just running around you know working right there so i did it from the inside just bent the rods into place and i'm just gonna clean it up here Clean it up here, making it tight right here. I'm very bad with words, but the umbrella, like I want to call it. Okay, so from here, I will then just, this is like, uh, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Whoa. But we're gonna, we're gonna, in, in here. Okay, zip that up here. Now, I can tell you right now, there's an issue with balance. This back, this back handle right here, if you can see it, is what I'm gonna use to angle it like that if I need to. Oh, okay, oh, oh, see? There's definitely a balance issue there. Probably needs a wider tripod, honestly. And this is like, we're gonna get the light together here let me get an extension cord of some kind now this is huge like look at me this is, i mean this is pretty huge like, look look at me underneath here it's gonna be like a canopy for me but in reference check that out uh let's set up the netting here now there's velcro right here and it should be straightforward honestly uh it should be straightforward Go. Oh, jeez. Did you see that? That is uh pretty bright. But um, okay. Let's let's do some stuff here. So pretty much the setup right here. I'm gonna be well. I'm gonna be sitting there somewhere, right? Excuse that right there. But. I don't know if I'm gonna be using the diffusers, but I'll probably just use the honeycomb. I gotta see what the shots are, but the good thing is that you can you can change the the intensity of the light right there. You can change the intensity of the light through there, and it gets brighter. And I don't know if you hear, but there's a fan in there, so I, I, I'll just put it to 50 and see what that is about. It's pretty straightforward, right? Uh, let me bu let me bump it too. I like I like wider a bit. So I have the other one at six thousand. Let's do let's do five thousand on here. Okay, this is a, a bit <laughs> this is pretty dramatic right now. Uh, some cons off the bat, right? Uh, and you know this is this will play into who who it might be for. Some cons are uh, let's let's start with the pros. I don't want to be negative. Pros are the light is very versatile, huge. I'm sure you can do a lot more things here. It is sub two hundred dollars, so but the materials are great. I mean the, the they feel sturdy. The light itself feels sturdy. It does go through the cycles of the thirty two hundred all the way to fifty six hundred. I wish it wanted to like maybe six thousand, but this is at five thousand right now. It is it is powerful right now. It's at five thousand and fifty percent right now. It's at five thousand and fifty percent. I know that it'll give me enough light to cover two people because I'm here. Uh, don't forget, that, don't mind the hard shadows, but I can definitely see the, it just lighting up the whole entire room. And it's at 50. We'll try it at 100. Hans are, it's just too cumbersome. It's just too cumbersome. It's, it's huge. I think this is best fit for a studio, like an actual studio where it just stands there. If you are if you have a photo business, if, uh, I would have to say I have a big gripe with this tripod. I might have to put a sandbag down there just to uh, make it not fall over. This thing scares me because it's almost tipped over like twice already. As you can see the shadows here, you, you can see it back clearly back there. 
I'm gonna change that to the other diffuser. I thought the honeycomb thing would be good to diffuse a little bit, but in all honesty, I think it has to be further back, honestly. But then I'm gonna bump up the power, and I don't really want. I, I don't really see myself doing that. So I'm gonna put the the, the big diffuser on. Maybe give you a, a better assessment that way, but. All I can tell you is the lights in the house right now, they're all off. Really good coverage. It's pretty clean, dude, honestly. For sub uh, sub $200, I think it's a good buy. I don't know so much why it comes with uh, a smaller one than it comes with the one I would think, the huge one. So let me put that on. Now that's with all the lights off right now. And the angle is kind of like pretty much 45 degrees. I'll change it up a little bit. I'll give you some more angles. This is with the diffuser at 50%. So that right there is amazing to me. Like that right there is like really good. The problem is I think it's gonna fall over eventually, honestly. Hey, yeah, it's, it's shaking right now. This stand freaks me out, dude. It's not. For those of you who buy this, just be aware of this freaking stand. You might have to sandbag this thing, matter of fact. I'm gonna use my bag right here because I feel really uncomfortable with this thing. Another con that I have is that the remote, right? See? Right the remote. I'm pressing it. Does not work unless you are, the remote doesn't work straight on. So you would have to literally be back there and change it, which is, it's a nuisance because I would have to get up, go again, and adjust it one more time. At 50%, for me, it looks great already, honestly. I have to look and post at it, but it looks great to me right now. This is kind of like, if I had a guest right here, and I'm running 24P right now, but it looks very cinematic right now, honestly. It's literally, if this is me straight, it's right here, right in, right in front of me. Now, if I want more of a Rembrandt, I can put it off right here, but let's play around with some studio, see if I have some backfill light. I got a little bit of orange light there. If you see a little bit of orange there, it's because I have my uh, salt, uh, Himalayan salt rock uh, lamp right here to the right of me as my, as my filler right there a little bit. But definitely, I do love the light. You know, for the value, for the price, I don't think you can go wrong. Um, you, can go, you can go more expensive, obviously, and those are probably way better. But if you're on a budget and you're looking to just set up a studio, and you're not, you're, you're past the studio light setup, the basic ones, the $50 ones, you wanna bump it up a little bit, I think this might be the one here. Let's take it to 100 and you let me know what you guys think. This is 100, so that's 100 right there. I can tell you right now, it is very bright, it is a bit, it's a bit annoying for me right now. Uh, it's, I'm trying my best to look at the camera, but it's there. It's, you know when you look at the sun, but you know the sun's there, you're trying not to look at the sun, it's there. This is 100. Now let's take it somewhere in the middle. This is 75. So right now, this is 75. And it's giving me that feeling of like the 50% honestly. So this might be a good one, honestly. This, this might be a really good one. This is 50. I'm gonna see him post at it, but just like uh, me looking at it right now, I do see a bit of a difference. It is gonna, it's just a tad bit darker. So. I might not, I might bring it up, I might film at like 75, 70, because it gives me enough of that, um, that light, but not like annoying light. Let me do some angles to kind of show you what, how versatile this is. Uh, I've always, I always love the Rembrandt effect, so let me do that for you. And this is it right now. Now, that's too much of a Rembrandt right now, but as you can see, that's too much. How about now? Yes. I love this right here. I can see what you can do creativity wise. You can really do like a Rembrandt effect, black and white like this, and really like play with it as far as the tone, you know, the message you want to put out, how emotional you want to be. But because of the, the, view, the, the, the size of this light, you can really do a lot of things. And honestly, I think if you were to use a honeycomb one, comment down below if you guys know how to use a honeycomb filter thing because the diffuser, because Unless I had to drop it down to really like 20 or to, to, to kill the, uh, to, the hard shadows, I don't know. I'm really used to this uh, diffuser one, but I can, you can definitely do so many things here. I'm gonna see this thing in post edit. If you really wanna step up your game, especially review videos, if you put this at 100, it'll really light up the table, honestly, I can tell you. Once again, this is Gil Vergara with Do My Life. 
Uh, if you can, if you like the stuff that we produce here, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate the growth of the channel. I appreciate you guys watching and coming back, right? If you are wanting to be a guest of the podcast, the link's gonna be down below. If you want some one-on-one -on -one time leadership talk, helping you out with kind of aligning your goals and keeping you accountable, my link's, my email's down below, or you can, you can copy it right here. Just, you know, just pause the screen. Reach out to me on my email. Let's talk. I would really love to help gentlemen that are trying to come out of that rut. You're, you're grinding. You're trying to find a way to make it happen for yourself. You might not be in the right space mentally or physically because I, I was there. And maybe I can help alongside with you walk out of that env environment, change your, change your mindset a little bit or fortify your mindset. Take care. God bless. I really appreciate your time watching this channel. The links are going to be down below for this particular light. If you're in America, I'm going to link it to one that's comparable on Amazon. But if you're in uh, the Philippines, I'll, I'll, do, I'll give you the link for the one for Lazada where I picked it up. Once again, subscribe to the channel. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.